Freedom, my fellow Americans. Today, we are going to talk about freedom. Freedom! And more specifically, we're going to talk about freedom, the quarantine, and coronavirus. Because I'd like to make the case today that quarantine could actually help to preserve freedom, not harm it. So how does that work? Well, let's get right into it. The first premise of my argument here is that life is a very important freedom. Why is life an important freedom? Well, it's an important freedom because of the distinction between something called a formal right and a substantive access to that right. Now, what is that? Well, a formal right is like this. A formal right is kind of like a legal right, anything you have. Um, well, a substantive access to that right is um, a substantive access, making sure you could actually access that right. Now, for example, if I were someone who would die if there was no social distancing, well, think about it this way for me. I will die, and I will lose all my freedoms that I had in life. Uh, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, I will lose all of that. But technically, this maybe I technically have the right to free speech even though I'm dead, and freedom of religion even though I'm dead, but because I don't have a substantive access to those rights, I can't actually use them. And this is why quarantine is so important. What we're doing is we're protecting the lives of a ton of people. And how we're doing that is we're all giving up a little bit of our freedom and we're staying inside. And that way, a ton of people get to survive and they not only get their freedom to life, but they get every other freedom that you get that comes along with being alive. But hey, hang, hang on, I hear you saying. There's one pretty good objection to this and that is how do we know the amount of freedom we're giving up is worth it? So that's a really good question, and a lot of people have been making the case that we are giving up too much freedom with social distancing. For example, you may have heard about the anti-social distancing protests. Um, I do think that these protesters kind of have a good point about, you know, the freedom we're sacrificing versus the freedom we're getting. Uh, but I, 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 I do think some of these protests are a little... Dumb. Prolonged lockdown, basically a slavery. I'm immune compromised. I put that at risk today. Everybody cough in my face. Do it. 9-11 was an inside job. No one's ever walked on the moon. The vaccines are poison. Just end me, please. Back to the main point. Are we giving up too much freedom with social distancing? The answer is... I don't know. There's no official, objective way to look at this. Freedom doesn't work like this. You can't go like, oh, plus three freedom points. Um, someone survives. Minus one freedom point. Someone has to stay in their home. Like, it doesn't work like that. There's no math you could do, no calculations. But we can think about it this way. By staying inside, we are protecting the lives of well, quite frankly, if you want to go all the way back to the beginning, we're saving the lives of millions and we're keeping a lot of other people from getting sick, which would have had a disastrous effect on the economy and would have got killed and gotten rid of so many people's freedoms. And you know what? It's like they say, freedom isn't free. And this is just one of those cases where we are giving in just a little bit of our freedom so that we can have more in the long run. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, please like, please subscribe, uh, and I will see you guys later.